สวัสดีทุกคนนะคะยินดีต้อนรับเข้าสู่ช่องครูเจเจนะครับวันก่อนหน้าฉันสอนปยานชนะและสระแล้ววันนี้นะครับฉันจะสอนวิธีอ่านคำศัพท์ภาษาไทยไงๆนะ So last video I discuss about the consonants and the vowels in Thailand. So today's video I am going to share with you how to read simple Thai words with tonal rules. So before I start the tutorial, to those who didn't subscribe yet to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated to my new videos. So let's start. Last video I discuss about the consonants. In there, I discussed also the three classes of consonants. So, merong, low class, mid class, and then the high class. So, today's video, magagamit natin to siya sa tonal rules because may mga certain rules sila. So, we will discuss first the first one, which is the mid class consonants. Ano yung mga mid consonants? So, these are the mid consonants. Okay, the first rule is... Any of the mid consonants plus the short vowel, any of the short vowel sa Thai alphabet equals low tone. Okay? Mid consonant plus short vowels and then equals low tone. Okay, I will give you example. Jajan and Sarau. So, Jajan in English equivalent niya is letter J plus short U. Okay. J plus U equals Ju. Ju. Okay. Remember this one. Pag short vowel siya, short tone din siya. Means Ju. 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 Okay. Another example. Hopla. Hopla. Plus sara i, okay. Popla and sara i. So how to read this one? Popla is the b p b p letter plus sara i short i. So ano ang pagkabasa niya? Yung popla hindi siya letter na lalabas yung hangin. It's in between of letter b and letter p. Hindi mo ilalabas yung hangin. Hanggang sa bibig lang siya p. So, ang pagka-pronounce niya is P, 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 short, low tone, P. And then the last example is Gokai and Sara'a. Yung Gokai is equivalent niya sa English letter is letter G. Pero hindi siya the same sa English alphabet na ang sound ng letter G is G, G. Pero ang Gokai sa Thailand is andito lang siya sa throat. Ko, ko, ko. Hindi mo ilalabas. Ko, ko. Ko kai plus sara a equals G plus short a equals ka, ka, ka. Okay? Mid consonant plus short vowel equals low short tone. Okay? Gotcha? Gets nyo ba mga be? The second one is mid consonants. Any of the consonants plus long vowel equals mid tone. Okay? Mid consonants plus long vowel equals mid tone. So example niya is hopla and sarai. Hopla. Sara e equals p p p means year p means year sa Thailand that's it another one dodek and sara u okay dodek in English alphabet is letter d equivalent niya plus long u okay paano pagbasa niyan letter d plus u equals do do, do, mid tone. Do, do means to see. Okay? Next example is ga, ga. 
letter G plus long A equals ga 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 that's it okay the third rule is any of the consonant mid consonant plus any of the vowel plus stop consonants ano tong mga stop consonants so these are the stop consonants so any of the stop consonants equals low tone okay so mid consonant plus any of the vowel plus stop consonant equals low tone so i will give you example the first example is dodan sara u dodek so dodek is the stop consonant okay okay how to read this one letter j plus short u plus letter d okay remember sa consonants my initial sound and final sound the final sound of dodek is same siya ng letter d pero hindi mo siya ilalabas han di ba sa english uh, t. example the word tact t a c t tact di ba may t na lumabas pero sa thai pipigilan mo siya hanggang sa loob lang siya hindi mo ilalabas example jajan sara u dodek this is jut 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 means point or tuldo meaning short tone and low tone siya jut jut okay gets nyo ba ang final sound ng dodek is letter t jut hindi siya jut jut no it's jut hanggang sa loob lang siya hindi mo siya ilalabas gets nyo mga beh Okay, another example para mas maintindihan nyo. Hopla, saraa, gokai, pak, pak, pak means mouth. The last rule for the mid consonant is any of the mid consonant, consonant plus the any of the vowels plus the sonorant equals mid tone. Ano yung mga sonorant? So these are the sonorant like mama, nonu, ngongu. So yung mga nasal, nasal na mga consonant like m, m, ngo. Okay, so yan pa yung mga iba dyan. Okay, so I will give you example. Go kai, sara, i, and nonu. How to read this one? Gokai in English is letter G plus short E plus nonu or letter N siya sa, let sa English alphabet. Okay, how to read this one? This is kin, 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 kin means eat, to eat. Okay, next example is pan, pan. Hopla, saraa, nonu, pan, pan. Okay, mid tone siya. Gets nyo? Gets nyo mga be? So next, the last example is jo ajan. O ang, ngongu, jong, jong, jong. Okay, so those are the four rules under mid consonants proceed now to the high consonants so what are the high consonants so these are the high class consonants so first rule in high class consonants high class consonant plus short vowel equals low tone okay high class consonant plus short vowel equals low tone Tone. Okay, I will give you example. Ho hip, ho hip, and sara a. Okay, how to read this one? 
pahib in English is equivalent niya sa is letter H. Okay? Pahib equivalent niya is letter H plus short A equals ha. 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 Okay, the next one is sa sa plus sara i. Sa sa plus sara i. Sa sa is S in English alphabet and short E equals C. C. Okay, the next one is Pa Pung plus Sara U equals Pu. 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 Okay, that's it. The second rule is any of the high class consonants plus the long vowel equals rising tone okay high class plus long vowel equals rising tone ano nga yung rising tone yung paganian from dito tataas first example is ha ha san sapay ha ha means to meet meet nyo ha Okay, ha hip plus sara a. Ha, ha, ha hip is letter H plus long A. Ha, okay, the next example is sa sa plus sara u. Sa sa plus sara u. S plus long u equals su, su, su. Okay. And then the last example is sara e and to tum to tum this is to tum is th and sara e okay napansin niyo nasa unahan yung sara e and then and then consonant so first paano siya basahin spot first the consonant and then the next one is the vowel so ang pagkabasa niya is te te Te, rising tone. Okay? Gets mga be? Okay, let's proceed now to the third rule. Any of the high class consonants plus any vowel plus the stop consonant equals low tone. Okay, I will give you an example. The first example is sa sa sara i babay mai equals sip. Sip means, okay, S plus short E and letter B. Sip. The final sound of Babay Mai is letter P. Pero hindi mo siya ilalabas sa loob lang siya. Sip. Sip. Okay. Next example is, Sa sa, O a, Babay Mai equals, Sop, Sop. Sa sa is S, O ang is O, O, and Babay Mai is letter B. So, it becomes Sa, Sa, okay, gets. Next is Ka Kai, Sara A, Dodek, equals Skat, 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 okay, that's it. And then, the last rule is for the high class consonants is any of the high class consonants plus any of the vowels plus the sonorants equals rising. Okay, I will give you example. Ha hi sara a ngongu equals hang hang hang. Okay, ha hi letter H sara a long A. Ngongu, ng, hang, hang. Next is son, son, sa sa, o ang, and nonu is son. Son means teach, and then ho tum, and sara u, ngongu is tum, tum. So those are the four rules under. High class consonants. 
the last class of the Thai alphabet, which is the low class consonants. The low class consonants, napakarami nila, so these are the low class consonants. Okay, the first rule is any of the letters from the low class consonant plus the short vowel equals high tone. Example, the low class consonant is nonu and sara a. Okay, this one is letter N and short A. So, how to read this one? It will become na, na, na. Okay, the next one is nonu and sara i. It will become ni, ni, ni. And then the last one is yoyak and sara u. It will become yu, yu. Okay, that's it. And then the next one is any of the low class consonant plus the long vowel equals mid tone. First example is ra rua and o ang equals ra. Ra. Ra means to wait. The next one is sara e ta ta han te te te. And then the last one is ho phung. O ang, ho, ho, ho. Okay, nasa mid tone siya. Okay, the next one is the low class consonant plus the short vowel plus the stop consonant equals high tone. Okay, I will give you example. Ko kwai, sara i, dodek. Okay, letter K siya sa English alphabet. Ko kwai. Plus short e, short e, and then plus dodek. How to read this one? This will become kit, kit, kit means to think. Okay. Next example. Ta tahan, serap u, serap u. Bobby mai, tuk, tuk, tuk. Okay. That's it. Okay, the next one is any of the low class consonant plus the long vowel plus the stop consonant equals falling tone. Okay, I will give you example. Example number one is to tahan o ang dode equals tot, tot, tot means fry. Tot, tot, tot. The next one is Jo Chang, O Ang, and Bao Bai Mai equals Chop, Chop, Chop. That's it. Okay, the last rule in the low class consonant is any of the consonant under the low class plus any of the vowel plus the sonorants equals neat tone. So the first example is Loling. Sara i, mongu. So loling is l, sara i, short i, and ng, mongu ng. So to read that one is ling, ling, ling. Okay. Next example is tatahan, sara i, mama equals team. Team. Tatahan is letter T. Sara E. Long E. Mama is M. So, team. 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 Team means team in English. And then the next one is Ngon. Ngon. Ngomu. Oang. Nonu. On, on. Okay, so those are the rules in each classes. I hope you have learned something from me again. And to those who didn't subscribe yet to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you like this video, please click like and share this video. If you have some questions, please comment down below and I will answer it as soon as possible. Shout out din sa Team Sarawat group page.
thank you for helping me thank you for uh, supporting my channel I hope you have learned something from me and I will do my best na mag-share pa ng knowledge about Thai language God bless us all rock to punak hap kop kun krap so di ka